Hey, welcome! It's Bupmeister, and thanks to a suggestion from one of our subscribers, we will be doing our very first 100 Days in Minecraft. I have to give a shout out to Luke the Notable, who of course has become quite notable by this point. And what makes this particular video different? What rules are we going to put in place? No iron. Finding iron is okay. Iron ingots, iron pickaxes, anything like that. It's okay to find. But I cannot mine anything. So let's begin. The first thing we need, of course, is lots and lots of wood. The first night came and I did not have any sheep or any method whatsoever of making a bed. So luckily I had found a small cave with iron, which I can't touch. But I did find some more coal at this point. I had made, uh, gotten a bunch of steak and pork and all kinds of stuff. So I knew at least I would not starve. I might as well do some mining here get some more rock, see if I can find some goodies. Day two now begins. I was just starting to cook up some meat. I, I was uh, down here doing some mining, found lots of coal, which is great. We do not want to waste sunlight. If I can get myself some sheep, then hallelujah for that. I climbed to the top of a tree to try to get a lookout maybe give me an idea of what direction I should head in to find a village. Maybe that way. Still day two, still looking for a village, but I think I found a glitch in the matrix. That looks pretty bizarre, whatever's over there. I feel like chicken. Day three begins, and I am right under all these floating islands. Near the end of day three, just came across lots of, lots of pigs and cows, and at least I won't go hungry. I spotted a desert in the distance here, so I'm thinking that might be my best gamble to find something worthwhile. And we begin day four. I climbed this mountain to see if I could see anything, but nothing so far. Oh my god, it took me four days, but I think I found my first village. Okay, well, we spent the night. This is now day five. Very disappointed that there was no iron of any kind in this village. I did get all my meat cooked in the smoker, so I guess that was a good thing. As I continue to search, I come across my second village. All right, well, I finished going through the second village, and um, pretty sad again. No iron whatsoever. It did give me a little bit of armor, though, even though it's just leather. So welcome to day six. If you've seen one of our previous videos, how to find diamonds fast with math, you would know that a swamp is somewhere we can get tons of diamonds. I have to find, I have to find an iron pickaxe or three pieces of iron ingot somewhere. Uh, I will be back. I will be back. Still day six, not having much luck finding more villages, so I thought I would take to the sea and maybe find some more along the coast. It's day seven, and I decided to dig down to see if I can find diamonds anyway, uh, just to see some. And what did I come across? A mine. 
So if I'm really lucky, I might find something in here. I hear lots of zombies with <gasps> a chest. Okay. Please. Oh my God. Nine iron. And I think I will take this golden apple as well. I decided to continue digging down. Just like we teach in finding diamonds quick using math on my other video. And we're reaching the bottom here. And look what we found. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Woohoo. While I was digging for diamonds, I also got into the mines a number of times and desperately searched for more iron and more chests. But I never did find another chest in the entire mine system that I searched. Alright, we just finished mining for all those diamonds, so we've got plenty of diamonds now. It took longer than I wanted because I don't have the aqua affinity, I don't have the respiration, I just had crappy tools, so it took a lot longer than it would have a little later in the game. But, I do have full diamond armor now, iron pickaxe or sorry diamond pickaxe and diamond sword coming and enough for an enchantment table so we are good to go so now i need to find a half decent village so that is where we are headed could be something worth investigating okay, here we go Woo. hey Crap. Come out of here, man. Oh my god, he destroyed my boat! Oh my god, why would there have to be a dude with a trident? Oh my god. A 14. Day 14 begins, and we are still looking for a village. Ow, as we trip and fall into a hole. All right, let us find a village, shall we? Ooh, a village. <laughs> That was quick. I like that. Oh, and it has a pillager base next to it. Oh, joy, oh, bliss. Now that I'm taking a closer look at the pillager base, I see that there's another village right on the other side. And since this village sucked, I'm going to go and check out the other one. But let's stay clear of the pillagers. What are the chances of three villages nearby? Because this village wasn't very good either. It looks like there's an abandoned nether portal in the distance. If we're really lucky, maybe we'll come across another village oh i see a desert temple that is definitely a good thing we'll have to check that out and see what we can pillage from that ouch Oh, a couple obsidian. Okay, good, good, good. And then we've got one more block of iron, I guess. It's getting dark again.
Oh, is that yet another village? It is another village. All right, I am going to sprint to this village because, oh, as it begins raining, of course. Lovely. Now this village looks like it's got some potential. Let's go to sleep right away. Excuse me, buddy. Sorry, this is an emergency. I need your bed. Doesn't matter. Okay. And day 15 begins. Well, I've just started exploring this town, this village, and it actually has two, not one, but two blacksmiths. And they all have iron in them. Iron leggings, chest plates, swords, pickaxes. Where was this when I started? And this one had another chest plate and two iron ingots. This is definitely my town. I am here. I am going to make... I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to put a wall around it because uh, we know there's pillagers nearby. And this is going to be my home base. Day 18. I'm just kind of getting my home base together. Put a wall around the city, cleaned it up a bit. And then a creeper found his way in, almost blew up my house. But I took care of him. And then I decided to come and check out the desert temple and see what treasures I might find herein. As you can see, I didn't find too much, just the usual saddle and horse armor and a few other goodies. Day 20 felt like a good day to peek into the nether. Well, that's awful. I decided to dig up as well and see if that little piece I saw through the ceiling was any better than the room I got placed in. The answer was no. After coming out of the nether, I decided to train a horse. Come on, buddy. Oh. We're best friends forever. See? Just didn't know it yet. There. All right. At this point, I figured it was time to check out the pillager base. So I just went for it and jumped and ran and tried to stay out of their way. I was truly hoping that there would be some decent treasure up here, but it was meh. So home I came. I decided to set up a little room for my enchantment table and maybe spruce it up a bit with some of the stuff I found. Eh, it's starting to get there. I was about to go do some more exploring when I saw the blacksmiths and wondered if there would be trades. And if those trades included iron. I looked and sure enough there was an iron axe and I knew there was more to be had. But then I hit a moral dilemma, and I stared him straight in the single eye for what seemed to be forever as time stood still, wondering whether I should be able to buy iron, if it was morally correct 
And in the end, I decided no. Day 21. And then I was off to do my main thing. I think I needed some cows. Because, well, A, I might need more leather, although I'm doing pretty good with that. But, um... I think it's more for for food, you know, more steak in the future when when the piles I have run out. So I lured a whole bunch here, and as you can tell, when it was all said and done, I had a good start to my cow area. Then I decided I need to find some more obsidian. And I remembered this lava pool on the other side of the desert temple. So I decided to get right to it and start mining some extra obsidian. I came to the conclusion that I need another nether portal. That one goes into a horrible biome in the nether and it's horribly placed on top of that so I'm gonna try another nether portal maybe I can place it in a town or something that that's a fair distance and Maybe I, I can even connect the two so that I have an easy way to travel a distance. Well, it's the end of day 22, and I feel like I didn't accomplish much today, but I did get some more obsidian so I can make some nether portals in far off places, which I'm going to head off to tomorrow. But other than that, it's bedtime. And we're on to day 23. All right, a new day awaits. So I think I'm gonna head off in this direction. I'm not gonna bring my horse because you never know. Oh wow, this is grown actually half decent. Maybe it'll be three high everywhere by the time I come back. You never know exactly if you're going to be in like thick woods or lots of rivers or things that horses don't go well with. The next segment, or lack thereof, is brought to you by Jinx the Cat, who was being incredibly loud while I was trying to record. So I stopped everything, shooed him out of the room, started back up, and forgot to push the record button. So thank you, Jinx. You are living up to your name. Please enjoy. All right, well, we are back from quite a tour. I will have to catch you up. Sadly, I thought I was recording <laughs> and I wasn't. I found a Taiga village, which was quite big. But didn't have much uh, but I decided to build another portal there and it was in a much better area as far as trying to find another fortress um, I found a bastion but again little tough uh, for where I'm at at the moment day 29 day 29 and I have finally finished my enchanting room. Good boy. I feel like I need to connect the nether portals. To get to my other portal is about 300 blocks. Oh. Let's get going. He would come right... Oh, man, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, 
This is like extremely risky. One hit. And all this netherrack is history and I fall. So I'm not... <laughs> he keeps coming back. Come on, man. Just stay away. I wish I had something to attack you with. Well, I suppose I could have gone around by now. I think I'm going to have to. And there it is, the other nether portal. Go for it. Ugh. This is when I was being attacked before. You must die. I made a little place to hide over here. I need a bow and arrows and a... Oh my god, they're all over the place! This is not good. Okay. I should have made a diamond sword. Alright. Not so bad. I'll take as many arrows as I can get, because if I'm lucky enough to get a bow from one of these skeletons, I'll have something to fight off those. A bow! Okay. It's not very strong, but it's a bow nonetheless. Okay, well, what have I got? Four. Four arrows now. Oh, it makes such a difference. Ah! Oh man, I didn't know there was one right here. All right, all things considering, it could have been much worse. Okay, well, over this edge, we have a bastion. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I really don't. Plus, It'll be a little challenging to get over there. Well, I'm back. I wish that would have been a little more productive, but the portals are connected. Okay, well, we got a little more organized here and uh, made another chest and got rid of a bunch of stuff. Finally made my diamond sword. And as I focus on wanting to enchant things, I realized not only do I not have level 30 yet, but I have no lapis. I have no lapis whatsoever. So I need to do some mining. There's some lapis. Oh, 
What was that? What the heck was that? If anybody knows what that was, put it in the comments below. I've never heard that n that noise before. Chest in there with. Okay, let's see if we can get something half decent here. I'm coming to the conclusion that I need to go get more diamond. So this way. And we're okay on the chunk border. One, two, three. And this is where we want to go. And by the time I was done mining diamonds in the swamp, I had 14 more diamonds. It was day 37 and time to go back and find another fortress. Now, since the bastion was that way, I think I need to head in the opposite direction to find another fortress. I have searched and dug and searched for another fortress. And finally, I found one after days and days of searching. All right, I'm going to attempt. Oh, uh oh, trouble! There's too many. Ah, uh. ah, oh, shoot. Need to eat, we need to eat. Oh no! And sadly, on day 40, my first death occurred. Okay, well, I just came back. Luckily, all my stuff was still sitting there, and I collected it. Further searched the whole fortress and came out with quite a bit of stuff. Got a whole bunch of glowstone, some more diamonds, some saddles, obsidian, ender pearls, whole bunch of stuff. Nine more iron. I'm just glad my stuff was still there after my untimely death. Well, I made it back. The sun is rising on day 42. And it's time to get organized and put a lot of this stuff away. Well, it started raining out, but nonetheless, the first thing I'm gonna do now is create an area to make potions. While building my potion area, I realized I didn't have any soul sand to plant my nether wart. So back I am to get some. I also want to mine more nether quartz for the floor. Well, I stayed a little longer. It's day 44 now, but I got lots of nether quartz. I got lots of soul sand. And most importantly, I got a lot of experience doing extra mining and killing. Well, we start day 45 by finishing up my small potions room, brewing room, and a little room to the side here for nether wart. I felt like I needed to have a proper entrance to the enchanting and potion rooms. I made them I made them look so decent down here and then I had an open terrible stairwell so I thought I would at least do this. I put slabs on top so nothing would uh spawn up there. 
And let's move on. All right, well, it's day 46, and I just got back from the nether. And as you can tell, I've got 32 levels of experience now. So let's hope we can put something decent on this sword. Sharpness 3. That I will take. Finally, something half decent. That is what I have been waiting for. I would love to combine these two, but guess what I need? An anvil. Okay, I made my way down, which was not the easiest. I couldn't just dig down where I thought before. I had to go kind of around. But I'm getting really close to the bastion now. Getting kind of nervous. Let's put that gold on. We do not want to engage any of those brutes, man. Oh, I see my first chests down there. All right. Oh, really? We don't need that extra stress, man. Of course, the only reason I'm here is to get iron for an anvil. A bugger. Ooh, netherite? Block of iron? I'll definitely take the extra iron. Okay. That's why we're here. A block of iron. Magma, more iron, spectral arrows, all right, okay, my plan works. Gotta have these protection areas. <sighs> and that was the second time I died just a few days later. Revenge! Another block of iron. Music disc. I'm really close to an anvil. I don't have any more pickaxes, so I might as well head home. Well, it's day 49, and we have some good news and some bad news. I certainly paid my debts at the Bastion, because I died again. But, we have three blocks of iron now. We had nine ingots, which I put together for another block. But the bad news is, all those nuggets, all those iron nuggets I got from the bastion were lost when I died. 
I didn't pick them back up. All we need is three more iron ingots and I have an anvil. So we now know what my next goal is. I am going to continue exploring until I find three more pieces of iron. I decided to start my adventure for iron back at the bastion, the scene of the crime. I figured there might be a couple more chests that I missed that might have iron in them. I came back to the bastion because I think I missed a few places and I did get a little bit of iron, not much, but a little bit. So I thought I would check out the Taiga village just in case I missed something. But unfortunately I didn't miss anything. I decided to head south to see what I could find. I found more nether portal ruins and a chest, but unfortunately there was no iron. I was exploring one of many caves when my first sign of hope came along and I saw a mine shaft way up on the side of a chasm. I was lucky enough to come across my first zombie spawner shortly after I entered the mine shaft. However, it was right behind a cave spider spawner. As you can see behind the zombie spawner, there's all kinds of webbing. I had already killed the cave spider um, spawner at this point, but um, sadly, I think the webs wiped out any chests that would have been here, so it came up empty. After much more searching, I had yet to find any minecart chests. However, I did find a second spawner with one chest. A chest! Okay. Come on, iron. Oh, no iron. On the way back to the nether portal by the village, I came across the defunct nether portal that I found and decided I would transplant it to beside the zombie spawner for a possible XP farm in the future. So there's another portal right by the zombie spawner. I'm going to have to get the coordinates of where this is in the nether so that I can connect the two. Just before I headed home, I thought I would clear out all the pumpkins at the village. Welcome to day 58. I headed back into the desert because I figured it would be the best chance to find more iron. Uh, and I came across a building I missed the first time. The next thing I came across was a ruined portal buried in the sands of time. Well, I had to do a lot of digging, but I found the chest in the back, and it did have a little bit of iron. Finally, I came across another desert temple, and by the time it was all said and done, I had my two iron ingots that I needed for my anvil. As we close on day 60, it is a day to remember. For today, we actually got our anvil. So now we can start breeding villagers and getting some decent enchantments on our items through librarians. Come on, you know what I want. It's like you listened. I could. It'd be nice to have it cheaper, but I'm not going to argue. I realized I wanted to 
and chant things with my table before I put the books on. So I need XP. Whoa. So I connected the portals uh, to the zombie spawner, finished the zombie XP farm, and now I'm just about to head back. We are back. And as you can see, I placed a whole bunch of beds down so that the villagers would propagate. And that's another reason I put the wall around the whole village so that you can do things like this. Oh, I see hearts again. That's good. I expanded the farm because the farmer takes potatoes and beets. And just, oh, I also made a few more lecterns. So I basically spent the day getting more emeralds, getting more mending books, and I'm just coming back from mining more clay for more emeralds. Okay, well, quite some time has gone by. All I've been doing, basically, is gardening and collecting clay and killing mobs, anything to gain experience and or um, emeralds. So it's all been about emeralds and gaining things forward. So it hasn't been for naught. If you take a look, first of all, all my armor and almost my sword now is back at full strength. They all have mending. Um, I've got all kinds of extra goodies on my armor and also my um, my pickaxe. So the only thing I'm really looking for is more protection on the armor yet. But other than that, um, it has been successful but it's taken time and of course it's pretty boring just to watch someone gardening <laughs> but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make a villager trading post so basically for all of uh, my librarians I got a beautiful sharpness 5 to get all the guys I've traded with into a house where I can easily trade with them and away from the village so that more villagers will spawn and they will be replaced with even more librarians. So that is what I am about to get into and I think I'm going to create uh, create it underground because I do like it within the within the village. I don't like to do it far away and transport them. So I'm going to do it underground here. Okay, I have finished the trading post. It's pretty basic and straightforward, although I made it look, you know, a little better. But um, the librarians basically just go in here. And what they have to trade goes on the sign above. Of course, you can have up to three trades, four on the sign, so it all works out there. Um, you push them down here, they'll land in water, and then you just got to push them into the different stalls. So, let's get to the ones that we've already traded with. Okay, well, we have... Uh, Basically, the ones we've used so far, Sharpness 5, I'm breaking 3 and Mending, now down here, ready to trade. By the way, if you want me to do a video on how to make something like this, just uh, comment below. As you can tell, we have a whole bunch of librarian replacements already. We now have Protection 4, which is the last one we were really looking for. Okay, we're back back in the nether and since we had two pieces of netherite already that we found I thought I might as well mine for some netherite all we need is two more and we'll see how that goes and there are the two other pieces 
of ancient debris that we need. Okay, I just got back from the nether. Um, a little hungry, as you can see. I ran out of food. Um, I did get the two pieces of netherite I was looking for, however, and a whole bunch of nether, or sorry, ender pearls. So maybe we can go search out the end fortress. Well, I was going to put the netherite onto my diamond sword, but then realized I need a smithing table, which requires two iron ingots. So I guess that's not going to happen after all, as I only have one. The time has come to find the end portal. I'm actually one, <laughs> one of those who rarely, very rarely goes into the end. I just, I just don't play the end. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Well, lucky me. It's directing me into a jungle to look for the end fortress. <laughs> Apparently the end fortress is down these caves somewhere. Oh, I think I just found it. Well, that only took forever to find. Whoops. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you jumped up through it? I was secretly hoping all the iron doors I had collected would smelt down to nuggets. Now the real question. Sadly, the answer was no. All right, now that we're back from the and fortress, I'm going to make another portal that goes right there so that we can go back if necessary. Okay, first I'm going to make another portal right here so that it's a lot closer <laughs> than the one I have to like run all the way over to the other side for. Okay, well that actually worked out better than I thought it would. They are pretty much right next to each other. Okay, so I have made the nether portal right by the end portal. So now all we have to do is connect them. And we have connected them. Now we have to get prepared to go into the end. I started making some potions. All right, got two more librarians down here that I needed to get out of the way. I'm hoping to get a knockback two. Hopefully that'll help me with the Ender Dragon. I'm not sure. I spent way too much time trying to get my knockback two, like literally more than a day and it never did. Um, the best I got was knockback one. I had to spend a bunch more time getting more emeralds so I could buy these new enchantments. Okay, we just had a zombie drop an iron ingot, so I am going to make the smithing table so I can put this netherite ingot onto my sword. Okay, so some time has gone by, but we are fully prepared, we hope, <laughs> for the battle with the Ender Dragon. I have created my spawn point here, so I'm right around the corner. If the worst happens, like I said, I very rarely go into the end and fight the ender dragon so I'm hoping things go well if you want to guess how many times it's gonna take me to kill the ender dragon put it in the comments right now before you find out 
All right. Let's hope we land underneath and not on a platform. All right. Here we go. Okay, well, close. At least I'm not way out in the middle of nowhere. There's one. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get the last tower. So I had to build up onto one of the towers and shoot it adjacently. Got it! At this point, I was not doing too bad. It was just me and the Ender Dragon now, with no recharge on his part. Getting some good hits. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, crap! Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, who's angry at me? Two guys are angry at me. Okay. Where is he? Gotta keep this going here. He's... He's almost done. Yes! Yes! A special moment indeed. The Ender Dragon is no more. All right. Wow, I didn't know whether I was going to do it or not. <laughs> Check out all the experience. Gotta love that. Okay. Oh, there it is. Alright. Alright. Let's go back home. And here is my little shrine I built <laughs> for the defeat of the Ender Dragon. Now the only thing left to do really is explore the end and see if I can find a ship and maybe get some wings and some shulker boxes. And in we go. We just have to throw an ender pearl in. There we go. No ship, unfortunately. I think it's just going to be safest to hit him from here. And there is another shell. All right, well, I think it's time to go home. We don't have, uh, we've searched a lot of area and haven't found anything else. And we do have no ender chests or anything like that to sort of protect our stuff. You know, there's nothing more terrifying than the void <laughs> in Minecraft. You fall, you die, and you lose absolutely everything. As you can see, we made it back to our base again. And since I had some goodies from the end, I decided to spruce up our little shrine to the death of the Ender Dragon. Now that we've fixed up our shrine and we only have a few days left, I think I'm going to try for an underwater ocean monument. Um, we'll see if we can get some sponges and kill all the boss fish in the time we have left. Well, here we are on the evening of day 98, and we found our ocean monument. 
All right, here we are, day 99, heading to the Ocean Monument. I better get a night vision and a water breathing ready. I do have a Respiration 3 helmet, but even Respiration 3 runs out. All right. Oh, yes, of course. I could not find the last Elder Guardian no matter where I looked, so I'm assuming he's at the top of the Ocean Monument. There's another portal ruin down here. Let's check out what it has in its chest. Oh, some decent stuff. Iron, I'll take it. I ran out of water breathing and couldn't get in. So I thought I would run back home for supplies because I wasn't that far away. I had a new plan. Since he prevents me from mining, I'm going to try to blow it up instead. Now, because nothing will happen basically if you blow up TNT and water, I'm going to try to surround it with blocks so that it isn't in water. Throw it in there. Cover it, cover it, I'm going to light it and cover it. Alright, it is open, and there he is! I knew you were up here! Nice! The last one is done. And we are at the sponges. With my treasure in hand and my goal completed, I headed home on day 100. I did indeed make it home in the evening. I was really actually surprised that I finished the goal of finding an ocean monument and getting sponges and killing all the boss fishies. Well, it just started raining, and I guess appropriately because it's sad our 100 days is over. But it's been quite an adventure, and I'm very glad you guys came along for the ride. Bye!